Make a little video of you uh, getting it ready, Gummy Jean. Hi, guys. We got Joe Linda watching. We got our patient, Cherry Pop. How you doing, Cherry Pop? Okay. You got a world of fun on your back there. We're going to take care of that spot. He's like, I'm here. Now, that thing got angry when? I noticed it probably about a month ago. About a month ago? Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's what we do. When you've got literally hundreds of these things, um, we keep an eye on them. If something changes or becomes unusual, you know, changes color, changes size. In this case, it got larger and started itching, right? It started draining a little bit. And it drained a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. So when that happens, it's time to remove it. So that's what we're going to do for you today. Okay. I got my headlamp on. There we go. So here's a hand so you guys can see about the size of this thing. I would say it's about, what, a dime size, Gabby Jean? What do you think? Uh, about. About? Okay. Are they taping off? Yep, let's tape it off. Cherry Pop, you're okay if we video your uh, procedure for all our friends on YouTube and yes. all the other social media sites? And sure. All right, that's good right there. Good. When's the last time you had to have one of these things removed? Oh, I think it was about a year ago. About a year? Yeah. And we are going to send this off to pathology for you. Okay. Make sure that it's not a cancer, but I'm a little bit concerned just due to the color. and It's definitely inflamed, whatever it is. It could be an inflamed seborrhea. Uh, could be uh, could be a little skin cancer, too. So we're going to tr uh, try to remove the entire thing uh, so that if it is a cancer, it'll be gone. Good. Like that? Mm -hmm. I'd like to make a little triangle for all of the conspiracy theorists out there. One more piece of tape, please. Gummy Jean's gonna spray the cold spray there. Cherry Pop, are you ready? Mm -hmm. You're gonna feel a little stick sting and a burn. Here we go. All right. That's good enough. Thank you. We'll use a little 1% lidocaine with some epinephrine in here. Is it stinging a little bit? It did. If it's stinging, it's working. Thank you, ma'am. Good. Let's give that just a moment to work. Let's see, what do you have? Do you have some scissors? We might use that. Scalpel, we're definitely going to use that. So we're going to try to kind of follow the fold lines of the skin, which kind of work this way for a cherry pop here. And we'll make our incision like so and around like so. And then we'll remove it, put some stitches in, and we'll be done. Right there. Can't see the backside of the camera, can you? It's hiding a little bit. Hiding just a little bit. It's a little elliptical incision. Little elliptical incision, right? Why am I doing an elliptical? So the skin will put together. Well, that was really a question for Joe Linda. But <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. When the patient knows the answer, that you know you better know it. <laughs> He's in the field. That's it. <laughs> right there. You feeling anything, buddy? Mm -hmm. Good. A little dab for me. Thank you, man. We're about, what, 4.8x on the magnification? 4.6. 4.6, okay. And we have our uh, pathology container? Yes, sir. You go. You got this. So my hands are a little bit shaky anyway, just due to the fact that I've had two major neck surgeries and I get pressure on nerves, but when you go and you magnify a procedure like this, it makes it look worse than it really is. And I have to admit I'm a little bit sensitive about it, but oh well, that's life. As long as we get the job done, right Cherry Pop? That's right. Coming off just like we want. So you can see the area there in the center, it seems to be bleeding more. And that's not terribly unusual when you have a lesion like this. They, they tend to be more vascularized. Okay. Undermining. Undermining? Undermining. So I'm just make a little snips under the skin on the edges so that it'll loosen it up so that I can bring the skin together. 
Got the needle driver, all right, and sutures, using 5-O-Ethylon. Make it nice and neat. I like even numbers. Do you? Oh, well, in that case, I gotta put two in. <laughs> You know, the whole thing about stitching is just make sure that you approximate the tissue right, that's all. Just make sure the tissue comes together like it should so that it heals nice, nicely. Good effort, usage. Thank you. No, all right. I don't want this scar ruining my modeling career here. No, no, absolutely. In fact, <laughs> if anything, it's going to enhance your marketability. Okay. Can I get a little uh, uh, yes. peroxide? Okay, so despite the fact that we made an oval incision, a little cold? Mm -hmm. Is that a little chilly? Okay. So by doing the undermining, when we bring the skin back together, you can see it makes a nice, a fairly straight line. I would say that's as good as it gets. I don't care if you're a plastic surgeon. I don't think it gets any better than that. All right, what were the instructions again, Cherry Pop? <laughs> Keep it dry for 24 hours to stick it up for a days. Fantastic. All right, so we're going to send that little thing out uh, to okay. pathology and have them slice it up, look at it under a microscope, and let us know what it is. Okay. I think what they're going to tell us is an inflamed seborrhea. Uh, inflamed seborrheic keratosis. If it's anything other than that, of course, we'll be letting you know. Well, we'll let you. We're going to let you know anyway. Okay. So we'll send you the results over the portal as soon as they're available. Okay. If you have any issues with this, you let us know. Okay. All right. Hey, thanks for letting us record this for all our friends You're on YouTube. You're very welcome. Tell us something. Hi, I'm Suzanne, and I take Dr. G's Meta Seven. This right here. I've been taking it since yeah. um, well for one month actually, okay. and and I really enjoy it because. Uh, it activates my life, just like it says. I have lots of energy. You do have more energy. And, yes, a lot and more you're energy. taking it as part of a weight loss program, right? Yes. Okay, and now we have lost some weight, but we're not gonna attribute all of that to the Meta 7 because we no. use we use something else to help. But the good thing is, is while you're losing weight, you still have lots of... Energy. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. You're welcome. And I like to swim, and so it's great because I can swim extra long. Because of the Meta 7. I, you know, I really, really enjoy it. Awesome. So, yes. Thanks. You're welcome. All right, folks, this is Emily, and Emily's been using Coco Skin Plus. Emily, um, you want to give your personal testimonial? I started taking Coco Skin Plus about six months ago, and since then I've noticed a huge difference in my skin. It's softer, my hair is softer, and it's grown so long. Awesome. I highly recommend it. Um, I definitely noticed a difference. It's definitely helped my hair feel better, my skin feel better, and you can. Pick it up on Amazon. All right, check out Coco Skin Plus on m7amazon.com. Available, and it was designed by Dr. John Gilmore. Thanks.